Hi, and welcome to Step Up AT's videos on AT use and early literacy development. In this video, we will talk about the importance of comprehension in the early childhood setting. It's my blanky giggle baby hedgehog. We also have videos on vocabulary, phonemic awareness, letter knowledge, and concepts about print. So be sure to check those out. They have been linked below. When we read a book, watch a movie, or have a conversation with a friend, the information we store and take in is what we understand from the story, movie, or talk. The same applies to children in school when they complete everyday activities such as circle time or small group lessons and shared reading experiences. Comprehension in reading is understanding and interpreting what was read. We can say that comprehension is the most important skill in reading because a child can be reading or hearing the words or looking at pictures, but if he or she is unable to comprehend what is being read, they might be missing out on important information being communicated. What do you think there is going to be a picture of? A cow jumping over the moon. You think? Let's see. So how do we develop comprehension skills using oh. assistive technology? We make reading come alive. House made of sticks. Where's the house with sticks? You have it. Using puppets, felt boards, real toys, and other props allows the children to engage with the story. A butterfly. When we bring a book to life using outside materials, we are using tactile experiences that help a child engage with the story. Adapting books and materials is one of the key ways we ensure that a child is having engaging experiences with a book rather than just having words read to them. Using augmentative and alternative communication, or AAC, is one way we could check a child's comprehension as well. You don't like it. You don't like that he was hungry? I don't like being hungry either. Even if a child is developing his or her spoken language, we give them opportunities to tell us what they know and understand by programming AAC devices with the characters of a story or the sequence of events, thus providing the child opportunities to ask and answer questions of the story. Just as we wouldn't present any opportunity in the classroom just once, reading is an activity that should take place daily. Of the coconut tree. Chicka chicka boom boom, do you know how to say that? While reading the same story multiple Yay! times in one week may seem excessive, when a child hears the same story every day, for a few days or even a few weeks, the child is taking in more information told each time. B and B told C. There are many opportunities throughout the day to engage a child in reading. Integrating assistive technology tools and strategies to build comprehension is essential to build their early literacy skills. Make sure to check out stepupat.com for more ways to use assistive technology to build the essential skills needed for early literacy success. Thank you for watching. Jack and Jill went up the hill.